Hey, everybody. Happy Saturday. Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome to another show. I'm Tiffany Beth. I'm Melissa Ann. We're best friends and, and we're, we're midnight beauties. beauties. I swear there's a lag. Thank you so much for joining us. It is awesome. We are, what, 24 hours into 2021? Thank God. Yeah. So much for joining us. It is awesome. We are. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm trying to. I want to share our. Um, we're live on YouTube and I want to share the link with um, my family because they want to come on and watch. Perfect. So, yeah. So I told them I would share the link that they don't know how to get there unless I share it. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. We're happy to have them. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Today we have a really fun show. I'm super excited before we get into that. Um, our sponsor, Rose Petal Cottage, um, she makes, um, Nikki Pritchard makes amazing, beautiful soaps out of goat milk, out of, um, coconut oil with the most beautiful scents. Some of them are sexy. Some of them are sweet. Some of them are both sweet and sexy. They smell um, so delicious that you would want to eat them, but don't eat them. Use yeah, them no. Wash your hands, clean your Eating hands. them is bad. Eating them is bad, but they're so good. And she makes them all by herself. It is literally a label of love because they are so intricate. Hello, T. Hi, Gina. They are so intricate and so gorgeous. You can go to the rose petal slash cottage.com or you can go to her Facebook, the rose petal cottage, and order them. They're amazing. You're they're so sweet and they're so yummy. Like I can't say enough good things about Rose Petal Cottage soaps. And I love that they are made by a small business. So, and nobody right now needs more help than a small business. So let's all support them and go find Rose Petal Cottage on Facebook. Go buy her soaps because they're amazing. Yeah, support local. You know, COVID has really destroyed so many mom and pop places. So I am 100% down for supporting independent, local mom and pop brands, especially ones that are good. A thousand percent. So support that. Also, God willing, Sci-Fi Horror Fest, August 27th and 28th of um, 2021. I'm so excited. We're going to have celebrities. We're going to have attractions and vendors. Vendor tables are on sale as so our tickets, our vendor tables are $100 for a table. They come with two passes, two chairs, and a table. Our um, patron tickets are $10 for the day or $15 for the weekend. And our first celebrity announcement is going to be on the 16th. I'm so excited. Rich, who is our event manager, will be joining us for that announcement. Our first celebrity announcement, I'm so excited. So everybody keep your eyes out for that. Because um, those of you who don't know, our show is under our production company, Bloody Murder. So that makes me really, really excited. So yay for good news. Yay for 2021. Just, you know what? Yay. So we are live. And I just have a tech question um, that maybe Denny can help with. Somebody said that we're not live on YouTube. It keeps telling them to, um, we'll be on momentarily. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it keeps telling them we're on, we're on momentarily. No, Maybe. Not, no. It says we're live. I, oh. is Did it just one person? They, um, yes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Oh, and I can give the link for the event. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Awesome sauce. So today is an awesome show. We are going to be reviewing one of our extreme favorite products of all times. Well, product makers. Um, I have to say, and I think Melissa was with me on this. There has been a lot of controversy around this particular brand, um, this particular person who makes this brand, but it's such a quality brand. We are obsessed. We love it when it goes on sale. Mm -hmm. But it's an awesome brand of makeup. And this brand of makeup, Jeffree Star, started literally from the ground up. Like, I think he had $5,000 he saved up from his music career and put every single penny he had into making his first three lip velours. Yeah. And those blew up and it just went from there. So speaking of small business that's turned into a absolute empire is Jeffree Star. Like we said, some controversy has surrounded him, but 
you know what? Sometimes all publicity is good publicity. Attention is attention. Um, and everybody has their own opinion and their own view. And you can't deny good product. I mean, that's the thing. No matter how you feel about him, no matter if you support him, don't support him, you like him, you don't like him, his product is really damn good. The pigment payoff on the shadows and the liquid lipstick, mm -hmm. like, it's worth it to me. And I mean, um, you know, everybody has their own opinions about, you know, everybody's past. But in the end, his product is really good. All of his products. I mean, I right now, so we have our faces on because we will be doing a look after we go through our boxes. But his concealer is top notch. I mean, the not only the packaging is awesome, but the product it smells like candy, but it stays. It super stays his concealer. The one thing I absolutely do love about his concealer is initially it's a look at the packaging. I've actually given this so much love. It's almost empty. I'm so glad I bought more. Um, I've given it lots of lots of love. Same thing with his magic concealer powder, which comes in a million different colors, by the way, because mm -hmm. he is very diverse. He has like 42 colors in his mm -hmm. concealers and stuff. Um, this that was one of the thing, one of his missions is that he yeah. wanted to make it so all that inclusive. it was inclusive for everybody, which um I actually got I don't have the concealer with me right now, but I got the concealer and the powder. And the powder itself is so finely milled mm -hmm. that it doesn't, for me, you know, I'm over 40 and I have fine lines and wrinkles. And that's something that, you know, when I'm using a product that I really kind of take into consideration. And with that, that product, it's so finely milled that you don't get that, but you get the coverage. Now, see, I'm wearing it and it's not settled into my fine line and wrinkles, which I also have because I am also in my 40s. But also what I love about <laughs> too actually what i also love about this though is initially it is kind of thin if you will but um it is still covered still if you let it set for like even just a minute for it actually kind of thickens a little bit and it gives you even better coverage and it's so easy to blend it blends in flawlessly yeah. and that's just it's hard to find that with some concealers because some concealers get really cakey and you're like what the fuck did i just put my or face or like you, if you put a little bit on you have to move really fast because it dries yeah. and you can't spread it. That's, or you get the ones that are too thin, too oily, and don't give you the enough coverage that you need. And when you get really oily underneath your eye, yeah. which you, you don't have as many oil glands around your eye. So, you know, mm -hmm. having an oil-based product isn't necessarily bad. But if you're somebody that likes to wear eyeliner underneath your eyes, you could transfer it. And that product could cause that to happen. A thousand percent. So it's quality product. Whatever you say, he makes sure that you get Okay, they're all on. My family's all on. They can see, but they're not sure how to comment. My mom mm. and my aunts are on. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, Chantel. Hi, Gina. <laughs> so it's it's quality product. And that's what we're going to share. And first today, we are going to do a look, but we're also going to share with you what we got in our, I wasn't going to show up, but what we got in our mystery boxes. And I will oh. share that, um, before we get into it, there were four levels of the mystery boxes. Yes. There was the small, which I think was twenty dollars. There, or, excuse me, excuse me, the mini, which was um twenty five. There was the premium, which was sixty, which that's the one Tiffany and I got. Um, there was the deluxe, which was one hundred and twenty, yeah. and then there was the supreme, which is one seventy five, and. Not in the mini or the supreme, but in the other boxes, you could say what sizing you were. So he had all the way from, I think, extra small to 4X um, yep. available. And that's because in the bigger bar boxes, he did include clothing. Um, we did get a piece of clothing in ours that will go over. And I think if you go on, most of the boxes are sold out except for the mystery box, the $25 mystery box. You can still get it. Um, I believe in the mini mystery box, you got three items. Yeah. The premium box was five items. The deluxe had seven and the Supreme had 10. So um, for the cost, you know, it's actually really good. Plus, you have to take into consideration shipping and um, handling as well and, and tax. But um, so at the end of the day, it was 77 mm -hmm. with the $60. Yep. And I don't know. 
about like the other ones, but I just am on his website right now and the mini is available. Um, the or the premium, the one that we got, that one is sold out, but the deluxe, there are some left in the deluxe, but I think all the Supreme are sold out. You know, I find interesting is that no matter what time of year it is or what anybody's going through, I feel like the most expensive ones sell out the quickest. Yeah. Well, it's good cost. That's why. I mean, it is a good cost. And I think in the, um, not in the mini one, but in all the other boxes, you got one exclusive item, which I, I think the um, piece of clothing that we got was the exclusive yes. item. So, so shall we start? Yeah. And just Should a we... side note, um, in case anybody doesn't know, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, he does have his own website. You can also get it, I think, on Beauty Bay and Beautylish. Um, you, and um, I don't, like, those are Beauty... all his... Beauty Bay, I'd stay clear of. Okay. But Beauty Lish is really good. Yeah. I've, I've gotten great stuff. And then, of course, he has his own website, jeffreestarcosmetics.com. And all of his products are vegan, um, cruelty free. He makes them yeah. all in the USA and I believe in Italy as well. Um, and yeah, they're pretty, pretty reasonable price. They are. He is an independent um, brand. So, um, which is which is nice. You know, we will always want to support our independent brand. So enough babble, I guess let's get right into No, that's that. fine because it's great. You know what? We usually wait till it's on sale, but paying full price is still quality because his products are bomb. And we're going to show you why in a minute. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unleash my beanie. This was, so like she said, we got one exclusive thing in this because we got five items. Mm -hmm. I get one exclusive item in the each box. And this one, we got a beanie. And I don't really care for hats, but this is the cutest fucking thing ever. I love it. I, I love how soft it is. I love that it has the little Jeffree Star logo. Oh, my God. I look cute in it. I don't even look cute in hats ever. <laughs> it, can I just Dang tell you on. how soft this is? Um, so soft. I'm, yeah, it is um, comp really soft. Um, I've actually already been wearing mine, so it's a little broken in. But I like the little pink ball on the top. Um, in the um, larger boxes, I did see that people were getting a black beanie, which it's all right. Pink is nice and white is nice, a winter white. So I actually really love this. I love it. I mean, I would have preferred black and pink, but because I'm a black, I like everything black but i love this and i will wear it and i think i'm gonna keep it on because i look really freaking cute there you go and i never look cute in hats like holy shit there you go all and right the other thing that we got was um jeffrey star does have um straws there are reusable straws um it comes with four you have the one straight one and then you have the curved ones which and is really yeah. nice and, um, and then the little brush to clean it with, which is really good, too. Um, I already washed mine through the dishwasher. I don't know if their dishwasher is safe to say throughout <laughs> the packaging, but I put mine in the top tray and they came out fine. I haven't used mine yet, but I'm going to. I would save them for the reveal. Yeah, these are really nice, too. And they do have um, Jeffree Star's name on them, which is really nice. Um, I We love the reusable straws. I love Jeffree Star. Okay. So I'm going to open this lip gloss next. Mm -hmm. um, I love the name. It's called Spank Me because it's a naughty lip gloss. It's naughty. It's got to be punished. I got the same one. So I feel like I will say this because there were three colors of boxes. There was pink, there was green, and there was blue. And I think... And white. Was there white? Yeah, the little one, the mini one was white. Well, the, but I mean for the ones we got. Yeah. Um, and I think each box that had a different color got the same items, which I'm not complaining because it's still quality. It's still amazing. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, I have to admit, like I couldn't wait, and I went on YouTube and I cheated to see what because other people were getting their boxes before us, and I cheated and I wanted to see what people were getting. So I did too. Yeah, too. So spank me is so pretty. Look at that glitter. It's just, it's naughty. It just it needs is, to be spanked. It is 
really pretty. It's very, it looks very vibrant. Um, t I'm going to, I'll try mine on. I've already tried it on. I am not going to try mine on because disclaimer, if this is your first time watching the show or if you know me personally, and this is with any brand, I don't like the gloss at all, ever. I don't like it. Um, I know Jeffries is awesome. It's soft. Melissa likes it. I don't like anybody's lip plan. This lip is the applicator. It's really nice. It's a, it's a doe foot applicator. So it gets a lot of the product on. Um, it doesn't feel sticky at all. As you can see, this color is really bright, but on me, I have really pink lips, but it goes on a lot clearer, um, softer. It's got the name on the bottom and I really like the component itself. It looks like the crown, the gold crown. The packaging is regal. You know, it's our inner queen. Queen. So regal. It makes you feel rich. It makes you feel bougie. Yeah. He does go all out for his packaging. He is he does really like that, which is which is what I like too. And um typically I think the glosses are eighteen fifty, but you know, yes. he's been having really good sales lately. So yes. you, you might be able to catch it where you can get a sale on it. Yep. And you can kind of say what you want about Jeffree Star, but he takes a lot of care. In his product. It smells so good. It smells like cake and cotton candy. Actually, at least mine does. I didn't open it. I'm not going to open it. No. Um, yeah. Actually, his uh, we'll get into the spray later, but his concealers and his spray smell like cake. Yep, his conceal his product smells really good. This one I was so excited about. Oh my god! Oh my god! I was so excited. I've wanted this lip velour for so long. Mm -hmm. And we both, did we get the same one list? No, I got Rose Matter. Okay, and I got Celebrity Skin. And I wanted this one for so long. I have Celebrity Skin. I love that. So I'm glad I didn't get it because I do own it. Look at that. The packaging also is so pretty. Mm -hmm. And it's a nude. I'm going to put it on right now. Before this is the curtain that came in. For me, mine was Rose Matter. I ripped the heck out of it. but that's. I didn't I rip it, but... This was mine. It's more, it's like kind of like a pinky, mauvey brown color. It's really pretty. And again, it smells like cotton candy. He's got the stars around the top and then the star up on there. And then um, it's got the doe foot applicator, which is kind of contoured. So it's really nice when you're putting it on your lips. It's really contoured to your lips. Mine smells like peppermint for some reason. Yours does? Mine smells like cotton candy. Oh, I love this nude. And you know the nice thing? See, now on camera, this looks a lot brighter, but in person, it's not that bright. But I really like it. It dries down so quickly. And I don't know if you're not familiar with Jeffree Star's products. Um, you get His um, liquid lipsticks are eye safe. So you can use it as eyeliner around your eyes. So even if you were to have gotten like a really bold color that maybe you're not used to playing with or whatever, you could use that for eyeliner as well. A lot of the people in the drag community swear by his eye products to use as a base before putting on their powdered eyeshadow just because it stays on forever. And I, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but during our events, we have a like a masochistic clown come and he does his makeup. He uses Jeffree Star Velour lipstick on his face as his face paint the white is drug lord sorry i was having technical difficulties that's okay the white is drug lord and then he uses other colors from the jeffree star lip velour line and let me he bleeds he sweats and everything else and it doesn't come off it's fantastic so you can use the lip floor anytime yeah. and this is what the celebrity skin looks like I'm in love. I love it. I love nudes because they kind of go with everything. So if you're like not feeling like you want to have a lipstick on, but you're not sure how bougie or how like in your face you want to go. I love a nude. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And it's nice because his nude product, you can, um, you could um, 
drew like a one of his lip liners underneath and so that would change the color of the nude or even like this is like a brownish color like I could put or like a I could put a brown lip liner with this and deepen it up or a red one and deepen it up um I don't know like I know for sure his products his liquid lipsticks you can use around the eyes I don't know about other brands but I just wanted to make that disclosure for his products. You definitely can do that. I have um, darker red colors that I've used um, for his liquid eyeliner. Exactly. And it feels so soft. Like it's not uncomfortable. It's not flaky. It's not and sticky. this shit on all day. Yeah. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing it, to be honest. You can wipe your mouth off after you take a bite or drink and it's not going to go anywhere. No. I think once in a great while with his darker, darker ones, like unicorn blood or designer blood once in a great while i've had to maybe put just a little bit right here and then swirl it around but that's only once in a great while so should we unveil our last product, Yay, it's our last product. so also in our in our um in our palettes and this is also why i think it, it the box depending on what palette you got we got the conspiracy palette yeah, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. but I'll tell you what, I'm not going to open this one because wah, wah. we already got one. She already owns it. Already own it. <laughs> wah, wah. So I will open mine though. Well, I'm, I brought mine, so I'm going to yeah. open. So first, can we just talk about the component? Like how cute that is. It's got... It's it's got, so if you don't know, Conspiracy Palette was a collaboration with Shane Dawson. So it's got the SD um, in the triangle for Shane Dawson. Um, on Shane Dawson's series, uh, his YouTube channel, he does a lot of conspiracy um, theory videos. So he was very proud um, to come out with this. And that's why he's got the triangle and then the conspiracy. Um, if you don't know how this product came about, or the, um, the thought behind it, I definitely recommend going and checking out Shane Dawson's YouTube series where, I don't know if it was on his on his or if it was on Jeffrey's or they kind of went back and forth, but they did a huge um, series event where they go behind the scenes of the making of this, how they came up with the names, the colors, the packaging, the product, all of that. And I highly recommend that. I actually learned a lot about um, the behind the scenes in making products and different things like that. It's pretty amazing to see that piece of it. You never really have delved into that. They always show the launches, um, the collaborations, but never like how they came up with the names or picking the swatches or the colors or be, not being afraid to speak up if something doesn't have enough shimmer, or it has too much shimmer, or if the lip, because there was a whole line, it was um, the larger conspiracy palette. You have one of the mini palettes. I do. Palette. I have the Emerald Mini. Yeah. Which I'm dying, dying to dive into. That and, and there was two. So there was one that didn't right. come with the emerald green. And then people, when they watched the YouTube series, they saw the emerald green and they were like, where is that color? We loved it. It's not in any of the collections. So they came out with another mini, which I love the packaging because it's got the green slashes across it. And that green, oh, that green is stunning. Isn't it? Stunning. I'm going to use that today because I, I Why need not? to dive into this. Is the, that green, the camera does not do it justice. I've seen it in person. It's and that vibrant. green, it is so vibrant. It looks so creamy. Um, but yeah, I definitely, and then they ha he had um, lipsticks in that. And then he also yeah. had um, the root beer lip gloss. And I think it was a root beer um, cream uh, lipstick, like chapstick. I actually have the root beer lip gloss. It's a clear. I absolutely, absolutely love it. It smells just like root beer. It's not sticky at all. Like some glosses, when you put it on, when you go like that, it's got like the mm -hmm. sticky, this is not, it moisturizes the lips. It's really nice and it stays on. Um, but I know in the larger winter mystery boxes, they came with like Orgy, the, his other eyeshadow palette, but it came with the set of the liquid lipsticks from the conspiracy line. Maybe we should have invested in a larger one. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I too 
<laughs> own conspiracy ballot uh, twice over because I was dumb and I didn't wait for my mystery box to come in. And I thought, what are the chances that it would be conspiracy palette? Because it was like their biggest launch. And so it was on sale. So I ordered it because Tiffany was raving about it. So I ordered it. And then, yeah. Ta -ta! I now own two. What are you going to do? Having said that, it is awesome quality, like everything else. Yeah, they're creamy, they're pigmented, they're fabulous. Totally. Look at those colors, man. And I like this, how it closes. There's the clicks on it. You have that. And then on the back of it, it doesn't have the names of the colors, but on this palette, it underneath all the eyeshadows, can't really see it on screen, but underneath it lists all the names of the colors and um they're really cool they um the colors reflect um shane dawson and like his crew of people that he's with and um like he has cheese dust so i don't know if anybody follows shane dawson but his cat's named cheeto and they like cheetos so they did cheese dust um he's friends with trisha paytas so they named one of the the pink color trisha um he does a lot of mukbang, mukbangs, um, different things like that. He drinks a lot of Diet Cola, so he named one of them Diet Cola. So, I mean, the names are really cute. The colors, they look really vibrant on the screen, on the camera, but a lot of them are sort of muted down. So you can really do an everyday look, but if you wanted to add like a little bit of that, that red color or that orange or that pink or yellow, you could always add a pop of color. I'll be using this today when we do our eyeshadow look. Which I thought was perfect because you're going to use the big one and I'm going to use the mini one. The little one! And How I don't fun. know what I'm going to do yet. Usually I research and kind of figure out what I'm going to do, but I think I'm just going to do like a basic look, not anything over the top. I already, I already have eyeshadow base on. Um, like in most of our videos, I do recommend using a primer, an eyeshadow primer. You can use with his eyeshadows, you can use his concealer. I've seen him on his videos. Jeffree Star uses concealers as an eyeshadow primer. Um, I just use a regular primer, but feel free, you know. I, uh, again. Make sure you have your regular primer. Yeah. I, again, am using Pretty Vulgar. Melissa uses her P. Louise. You can, and you can use the Jeffree Star concealer, though. Yes, you can. I also, though, because this is Jeffree Star. Hi, puppy. Woo! I'm going to use my Jeffree Star brushes. Woo! So excited. Alrighty. I just don't know what I want to use. They're just so beautiful. And because I, you I'm know, I don't mind usually having two of something because I bought two sets of brushes. I'm just using my switch to clean my brushes off. If you've never tried this before, I highly recommend it. It's a color switch. It's a, um, you can get them off of um, anything, off of any website. I think Ulta has them for like $3.99. They're dry and you just swish your brush around and it cleans your brushes off. I'm sure you could wash them with an antibacterial disinfectant though, at least weekly, if you know, maybe monthly, but in between this, works really good especially if you like to use the same brush for darker colors and lighter colors mm -hmm. then you're not mixing them up it's in a miracle middle. thing so i'm taking my glasses off so i'll be going blind right now because i can't see I'm, anything I'm i have my contacts in so i am actually going to dip into put it back this beautiful green i've been dying to use since the moment i got this palette i'm sorry i'm using a jeffree star palette but I'm using the mirror because I it mirror bends. So that's a that's a thirsty palette. And I'm going to I'm going to get into some of the diet root beer. Now feel free guys to follow along. Get out one of your favorite palettes. Follow along. Do a look of your own or maybe do what we're doing. I'm gonna do a cut crease because I just fucking love a cut crease. Hi everybody. Oh my god, first. First things first, like his product, it's so creamy. It just goes on. I didn't even dab a lot into the product. I just put a little bit on my brush and it just goes, swipes right on. 
it feels like a dream. It just, it's so beautiful. And the nice thing is, is that this is a shimmer. Okay, so take it back as a shimmer. It's buildable, but you actually get enough pigment where, and there's not a lot of fallout, by the way. Like I'm gonna dip into it again while I'm on camera. I'm gonna try to do it the best I can. Do, 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 here we go. I'm gonna dip into it. Look at that, hardly any fallout. Love it. Let's see, I took the Diet Cola, which is, or Cola, excuse me, Diet Root Beer, which is the lighter brown. Um, I guess you could kind of say I'm doing a cut crease too. I will say there's one palette I am missing that I would absolutely love. I mean, trust me, if I had the money, I would buy his entire inventory. I'm slowly getting, because he is, and I, okay, so I might be like making enemies, but he's literally my favorite makeup brand. All of his products are top notch. He makes me laugh. We've all made mistakes. He makes me laugh. I don't understand the controversy around some of the shit that people get pissed about. I don't get it. I, like a name, I don't get a name. He had controversy over cremated. I don't get it. Um, and that's a wonderful palette too, by the way. I was gonna say, if those of you don't aren't aware, cremated is another one of his eyeshadow palettes that he came out with. And it's fantastic. Um, but he's actually one of my absolute favorite artists and brands. I love Jeffree Star. I want an entire vault of Jeffree Star. I'm not even going to lie. I'm taking a little bit of the ranch and putting it on my brow bone. But man, uh, yeah, go in sparingly. It's really pigmented. I mean, I love Jeffree Star products. I absolutely do. Um, I will, you know, I have a lot of favorite brands. So he's definitely probably in my top 20. Top 20? Or not, not definitely. He is in my top 20 of brands. Probably even top five. But I have a lot of different products I like to work with. The Jeffree Star is the man one of, of the which, hour. You know, one of which he um, has worked with um, uh, Mama Mitchell, if nobody knows that's his name, um, who is uh, the one of the creators behind P. Louise. Jeffree Star is the man of our hour today. I love him. And this, let me tell you, his shimmers are on point. I freaking love his shimmers. And I'm just blending the two together, like up here to here, so that there's not a harsh line. Just like painting. Just blend it all together. I mean, you can use a blending brush. You can use like this little fluffy brush. I don't know why my lighting is so dark today. Mine is too. I don't know. Maybe it's the weather. Just like what guys, don't are... don't be afraid to put questions in comments. Wind chill wiper. Neat, 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 neat. <laughs> Just blending it in, and then I don't know. I want to do a cut crease for the inside but I don't know what color I want to do I feel like I really want to do this lime yellow I think you should go for lime yellow okay the lime which is called food videos I'll do that Oh my God, I'm living for this green. I'm oh, living for it. Pretty. I'm just, oh, look at that yellow. Holy moly, baby. Hello, yellow. Hello. Oh, they said definitely yellow. Okay, I'll do the yellow. Yellow it is. And I mean, you know, honestly, the first product that I started with, with Jeffree Star was a liquid lipstick, um, just because I had heard so much hype around his lip products. And then um, Tiffany actually, uh, oh gosh, it was a long time ago, over 10 years ago, she was the one that introduced me to um, Unicorn Blood. And I just fell in love with that color, the shade, everything. 
and it's a deep, deep red color. And so um, that Thanksgiving, he had a sale. So I actually got Unicorn Blood Celebrity Skin, and I got um, his very first um, eyeshadow palette. It was... Um, Oh, I can't think of the name of Killer Star, maybe. I think so. And that's what I, that's the one I got. Let's see here. So um, somebody asked what Jeffree Star product is best to use for base. Um, so Jeffree Star doesn't actually have any skincare or foundation. Um, yet. I don't know if it's going to be coming. Um, he does have concealer and he does have powder. I guess you could potentially use the concealer um, on your entire face. However, you're going to go through it quite fast. So his line, um, he just is starting now to expand on additional products. So I don't know if something like a foundation um, or skincare will, I'm sure it's in the works down the road. He's probably going to be coming um, out with it. And your opinion on his lip colors. Oh, his lip colors are fabulous. He's got over, I think, 30 different lip shades. Um, to me, they're all different ranges from neutrals to bright to vibrant. Um, to the different, uh, his black um, liquid lipstick and white lips liquid lipstick are some of the best um, products out on the market to use. And um, if you're just tuning in, um, uh, we had gotten this, these questions off of uh, Facebook. And um, one of the things is that um, you can use his liquid lipsticks as eyeshadows. You can use them as eyeliners. They're eye safe. So that's the really nice versatile thing about it. So if you do get a mystery box, because I've gotten previous mystery boxes, he usually does them around Halloween and winter. And I missed the Halloween this one because it sold out so quickly, but I got Halloween last year in 2019. And um, I got a real bright purple, but I liked it because I could use it as a liquid eyeliner, which was really nice. Um, my favorite color probably from him is um, Unicorn Blood. That's mm -hmm. And then I just actually purchased Designer Blood, the one that Tiffany had got. She had showed on her last video, which I absolutely love. I actually just received it in the mail today, so I might try it on um, with this look. And maybe, Tiffany, you can talk about the brushes because I have not tried his brushes, so I can't say how they are but if they match any of his other products i'm sure they're pretty good there's definitely an array of them there is um i was a little sad because i did get it on sale um and that's not why i was sad i was on, i was sad because all of his brushes went on sale and unfortunately i only was able to snag one blush brush and two sets of um actually three sets of his his eye brushes. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff. One second. I just dropped something. Um, and I really like his brushes, actually. Shoot. <laughs> it keeps rolling away from me. Um, I really like his brushes. They're soft. They're super blendable. Um, and I just love them. And they're heavy, too, by the way. They're really heavy, which means super awesome quality, which I love. Um, because that also and means I'm sure, that, and I'm sure they're synthetic because his line is vegan. They are synthetic. And the nice thing about that though, is they're also, I don't know if this makes sense to anybody, but me, but they're also really tight. Like it feels like they're really tightly, like, I don't know if you want to use the word sewn in or like stuffed into the holder of the brush. Impressed. Impressed. Yes. Um, because they don't fray, which I love they don't fray and so you're not like spreading makeup everywhere you don't want to which some brushes I find it hard to get a very controlled um, a controlled blend sometimes in the blush fr brush phrase which to me is super annoying by the way I've had that before happen where like you're blind it and the bristle pops out yep or it just like does that thing Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm cutting my crease. I did put on some more of my um, uh, primer, but now I'm using some of the Jeffree Star concealer just to make it a more pronounced cut. 
And I'm putting the yellow underneath, bringing me back to my 80s days. Love it. Yeah. Once I blend this, I'm probably going to put the green underneath my eyes because I'm loving this green. I kind of wish I'd went in a different direction, but then again, I'm not sorry at the same time. So sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. But yeah. And brushes are so important. Yes, they are important, Gina. They really are important. You know, actually, I before I actually used to like the the like foamy brushes, if you will. Like they felt like not styrofoam, but what's what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the cheap brushes. Yes, but now that I use brushes, brushes, I like the brushes, brushes much better. And just a, like just like a little side tip, I mean, obviously you can purchase Jeffree Star's brushes, but if you're starting out and you're on a budget, you, um, I knew this before, but we had um, a guest on our show, um, Glam Ernie, or Ernie Glam, share with us that you can go and get paint brushes. And paint yeah. brushes work just as well. And I mean, sometimes the paint brushes cost just as much as the um, regular brushes. Or if you subscribe to Boxy Charm, uh, like we do, we usually get brushes. <laughs> I have a lot of brushes, which I'm not sorry. I love brushes. I hoard them. Yeah. I think. I definitely think you have more brushes than me now. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I'm still waiting for an order, so we'll see. Yeah. Um, um, did you get the? Um, you said you got you were able to get the blush brush from him too. Yes, and I love it. Mm -hmm. But I'm just kind of sad because it was the only blush brush I was able to get. Oh. But because he had a unicorn and everything else that were just so flashy and beautiful, and I wanted them all, oh. but they were out of stock because they were the sale was amazing. I can't even lie, the sale so, was amazing. I just took a little bit of the orange, which is called cheese dust, and I'm. I'm figuring I'm going going all out for my 80s look. I think you should. You know what? I'm going to do something that's probably going to clash, but I'm just feeling this. I'm going to take some of Trisha. And I'm going to put that on the inside of my corner. There you go. I'm just feeling some Trisha today. That's where we're going to go with it. Again, not a lot of fallout. I'm loving it. Ooh. I'm using my Harry Potter brush that Tiffany got me for my birthday. Aww. My wand brush. It's subtle, but it's really nice. Hi, Jessica. Thank you. Yeah, I love that yellow. That yellow is really, like, you could see it on camera, and usually, like, the product on camera looks a lot softer, so you can imagine in person, but it's not real, it's not real bright in person, and you could do, like, you could do a little bit darker, like, if you wanted to darken up your crease, you could put a little something else in there, I don't know, let's see. Just to show you for the sake of showing you the product, maybe I'll do a little bit of the spiraling. Oh, that is... Oh, that's intense. Oh, I'm loving anybody, this thing. Anybody know Duran Duran? It reminds me of the album. <laughs> 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 Oh, she said, um, Gina said, definitely paint brushes are expensive. They are. They are. But also brushes, makeup brushes themselves can be super pricey. Yeah. I'm waiting for a set that I bought on sale that are normally um, $40, $85 that they haven't come yet. I got them uh, for 12 I got a comment. It's from my aunt. She said, you girls look great. Love the beanies. Adorbs. <laughs> Thank you. The be beanies are really cute. They're so soft. 
I'm actually just taking the pink and kind of going up here on the green too, because I am just loving like this club vibe look. Once again, we're using it for all those who are just joining. We're using the conspiracy palette that we got in our mystery winter boxes from Jeffrey Star. The large one and the small one. Yeah, we paid sixty dollars for the um, for the premium one we got, and we got five products. We did go over the products before, but. If you weren't here and you'd like to see something, just give a shout out. Yes. Well, I'm going to put a little bit of eyeliner on. Now I'm just going to blend this up a little bit. And ooh, I don't know what kind of eyeliner I want to use. Ooh, let's see. Here. And I don't know, for those just joining, we did do our foundation and our base and all of that off of camera. Yep, we did. Sometimes it's just fun to like be with your friends online or not and just play with eyeshadow. Yeah, you don't, don't even talk. You just want to have fun. And I think it's relaxing. Like, I watch makeup videos, and I just find it so relaxing. Like, sometimes I don't even like the ones that even talk, that don't even talk. I like the ones that just share about the product or just put on the product and just watching them do their technique. I do like when they share what they're using, though. Well, I think that's important because we might want to use it. That's it. Some of them don't do that. Just kind of neatening up the sides here. Let's try this. I don't know. I don't know if this is still good. Oh, I know it looks a little 80s, but I'm living for this club kid look. Yeah. 80s is good. Ode to Ernie Glam. And Jeffree Star. Like, I love how Jeffree Star does a lot of his makeup in the ads that he does for his oh, campaign. Yeah, for his campaign. Absolutely. And, like, they do these wild, wacky colors. And I love it. Like, could I wear this to work? No. Would I? Probably. All right, I'm, I'm going to take my voice. Huh? Oh, I was to say, I don't have any um, eyeliner from Jeffree Star. He did come out with eyeliner. Um I particularly like liquid. He came out with like a gel. Um, I don't own any of it. I tried and it sold out pretty quickly. So, um, and I really want the black and he didn't have a black yet. He is coming out with one though, he said. So I'm just using a little green liquid liner. So I'm going to take to my brow line just a little of my boyfriend's purse. This little blingy stuff right here. Blingy, blingy. Bling it, bling, bling, bling. Ooh. Ooh, ah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I like it a lot. So I just did, it's like a, I don't know what the name of this is called. The, well, it's called The Hills. So that doesn't really give you an idea. It's kind of like a greenish blue. I don't know if you can really see it. Because I, I did a really thin line. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the green before I put it on my eyeliner. And just drag it underneath my eye a little bit. There you go. Do, do, do. I love makeup and friends and alcohol and dogs. And your husband. Oh, yes, my husband, too. <laughs> he just looked away like last resort. Thanks. I'm just going to drag it on the bottom just to kind of complete the look. I'm not doing a cat eye today. I'm just doing that green.
Also, if you have contacts, it's probably best that you don't flick it into your contact. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Just a disclaimer. That yellow. Holy moly. I like that yellow. So what are you doing for dinner tonight? You have any no plans? clue. How about you? We are making homemade pizzas. Well, there you go. Yep, I've got turkey sausage. I'm going to cook up and bacon, and we're going to put that on top of the pizza. Nice. Mm -hmm. Just going to throw a little mascara on. Oh, I'm living for this color. I'm also going to drag a little bit of the pink too underneath the other side just because I love it so much. It's a really pretty pink. It really is. And I feel like it just kind of completes the cup club kid vibe. I did see a cute little trick on, I don't know if I have anything I can do it with. Let's see, maybe I can do that. When applying mascara, I saw it on TikTok. Of course I'm, I don't know if I can. So I saw on TikTok, if you take the cardboard and put it behind your eyelashes and then put your mascara on, It'll hit the packaging and not your back of your eyelid. Although, because I don't have contacts in, I can't do it. Because <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> well, maybe when I get contacts again, if my eyes are cooperative, we'll see. I usually don't have that problem. I usually just start down at the base of my lashes and hold it there for a couple of seconds so that it builds up the base and then just kind of wiggle out. Now I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit on my thing. There was a little bit of fallout, but that's because I dipped my brush in a little too deep. I, that's like the third time I've done that. I really not need to do that. It's my own fault. They said we should do a drag look on our guys. Well, so yeah, my husband has a beard and I don't know. And I don't know if you know anybody that when you get anything near their eyes, they blink in their eyes water and that you can't, you can't do anything to their eyes. So that's my husband. So I feel like doing a drag makeup on him would not go very well. He would probably be down for it, but um, yeah, I would be, I think he would, um, I think it would create a mess. I mean, if there's somebody out there, um, willing to uh volunteer as tribute you know? <laughs> as tribute as tribute um yeah i mean my nephew did my makeup and i did it it's not so cute it did and then uh but yeah he's got and i've worked on people before that have eye issues like that where like when their eyes close their eyes moving back and forth their yeah. eyes watering or it's fluttering and I mean, you have to make it work when you're doing a gig, but I mean, he, like, I, I think it would just be a huge mess. And I can't even imagine, like, trying to get the eyelashes on him with that issue. Like, that just, he would look really pretty, though, because he's got the longest eyelashes ever. But um, I put eyelashes on Bob. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I would have to, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that would go over and he's got a beard which that's fine like I could put glitter all in the beard but he's got he's got such sensitive skin but if somebody wants to volunteer 
Denny will not be volunteering. I can tell you that. No. And he's probably the same way, like with James, the eyes. And he's just got really, he's got very sensitive skin. Like you just. He's like, got really even, bad allergies. Well, even like when we, because we cosplay a lot for around, especially like around Halloween. And for his makeup, we actually have to do the most minimal. Like even like just, I was darkening up his mustache with some mascara. And even that irritated his skin. Mm hmm yeah so and denny's just denny his allergies with the makeup and stuff and i don't know he's camera shy that also mm -hmm. i put on a little mascara but if somebody would like to volunteer i'd be down for that and oh, i mean, think that would be fun and it doesn't necessarily have to be a guy i mean Bob would do it you could do drag on a girl, too. Why oh, not? Absolutely. I kind of feel that's what I've done with this look. No, because if you were going all out, you'd have the big eyebrows like Trixie Mattel. That's true. I yeah. did not do the eyebrows. I never do my eyebrows, though. And, like, her eyeliner, you ever see? I, that's the kind of makeup I would do on myself. Oh, I'm not opposed to doing it. No. Oh, no, me either. All right, there we go. I am living. No, somebody color. asked if Jeffree Star has a line of mascara. He does not have no. mascara. No, he he's got um, eyeliner. He's got. He just came out with eyeliner. Um, sorry, I just started to put some lipstick on when we got a question. He has. Let's see. I'll tell you exactly what products he has. He has. Um, eyeshadow palettes he has automatic eyeliner he's got concealer he's got setting powder he's got something called magic star luminous setting powder which has a little bit of like a glow to it not a shimmer just a very soft glow he does have extreme frost skin frost and supreme frost which is like the shimmer and the highlighter um i do not own any of those i do own um a supreme frost but i'm not sure where i put it and then he, of course, has the lip balm, the glosses. He's got the velour lip liner. He's got lip scrubs. I think yeah. that's one of my next products that I purchased. He's got amazing lip scrub products. He does have the velour liquid lipsticks. He's got the velvet trap um, lipsticks as well, um, which I have tried those. And I really like the lipsticks, too. I mean, I'm the liquid lipstick all the way. And then, of course, he's got the fashion and um, clothing. He's got hoodies. He's got sweatpants t-shirt shorts he's got holiday line he's got mirrors um, and straws and yeah he's got all of that beanie straws he's got um he also has a uh, grinders yeah he's got mirrors he's got makeup bags he does have grinders um he's got um he's got the set of grinders he's but yeah net mascara not yet i'm sure it's something that he's probably in the works wanting to do um, uh, but yeah, he, not yet. He doesn't have that. He doesn't have foundation or any skincare yet. No, um, but you're not surprised if he'll, he, thank you, Teresa, by the way. She said she loved what it. A was. What? Somebody asked what a grinder was. The what grinder. is the grinder? Um, well, a grinder is for herbal recreation. Yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey lives in California, and he uses um, cannabis for medicinal reasons, mm -hmm. and it's legal there. And so he yeah. sells that product as part of his line to help with that medicinal product. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So um, I'm actually going to just use a little bit of his Jeffree Star um setting spray just to spritz and it by the way this smells amazing mm. this smells amazing it smells like candy if you are sensitive to scents like sweetness this might be a little much for you but let me just tell you it stays like it stays on my makeup doesn't go anywhere with this and even and this is one of the things i was talking about when I put on my setting powder. I usually use a little bit of setting spray on my brush. And ever since I've been doing that, I've had extremely minimal, minimal um, rub off on my mask. So that's always nice because I get, 
annoyed every time I take off my mask. Like there's all this makeup and it's annoying and it should be staying on my face. But I get minimal brush off on the mask when I use the setting spray along the side with my setting powder and then use the setting powder once my whole look is complete. So I don't know. I'm living for this look. I actually really love the colors. Like it looks a little harsh on my, my skin tone, but I really love it. No, uh, it, uh, it pops. It does pop. I love the two colors together. I j oh, Gina's she, laughing. She went LOL. She's laughing. I love that lipstick on you. Which color did you use for your lipstick? Is the rose matter? Oh, I used designer blood. Oh, oh now God. you can really see it when I add more light. Look at the yellow. Oh, I like that. That's your green pop in your eyes. Yeah, I didn't put on my beauty camera today. No, that's okay. I, I was lazy. That's fine. So these are our Jeffree Star looks. I love me Jeffree Star. Mm -hmm. He's just my favorite. I, I'm sorry. He just really is my favorite. And no apologies, man. He is just I my say, favorite. I have to say his products are one of my top favorite products. I just love um, the eyeshadows, the liquid lipsticks. Like I said, it was one of the very first liquid lipsticks. Um, I didn't even, I mean, Revlon made something similar, the color stay many moons ago, which I did use, but I, um, you know, had issues with it. But, um, so Tiffany was the one that introduced me to the liquid lipstick and I absolutely adore his product. Um, the liquid lipsticks, they stay. And like, if I wanted to take this red and really make the eyeshadow pop even more. I could do this for a liquid liner. Yeah. I mean, that's a nice thing. Like, and hold on before we get to the second part of our show. I I'm, I think you have more liquid velours than I do, but um, yeah, I have um, I have designer blood, which that's like a red base, yes. blue red base. I've got allegedly, which is kind of like a tan kind of color and i bought these when they were 10 bucks so they were on sale i had to stop myself because i just couldn't stop i've got allegedly an androgyny and mannequin have, and leo yeah, i have androgyny too. and now celebrity skin i mean i want more of these by the way and then uh, i are you filming which is like a really bright red and then I have other colors. They're in my beauty room, and I'm just too lazy to get them. But I have allegedly, I have unicorn blood, celebrity skin. Yes. I have I have a couple that are like purpley metallic color, which I'm not usually a metallic person, but they're pretty. I would. I very, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I use them as liners. I would very much like him to bring back like no tea, no shade, ho ho ho, the mm -hmm. metallic ones because that's. I love metallic lipsticks. Actually, I really do. And some of the ones I have from other brands don't work really well. They tend to peel where his does not. So I wish he, I hope he brings back like ho, ho, ho and no tea, no shade. He had ho, ho, awesome. ho. Um, he did it last year in the winter mystery boxes, like as a special. Well, I guess next, well, we did the winter mystery and we didn't get it. So I don't know. He, no, he no. About it's possible. 2019 winter mystery box. Oh. Well, he might, um, be bringing it back because when we watched that video, he said he might be bringing that back because that was a huge, one of the huge lip floors. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he brings it back because I really like it a lot. And next time the lip floors go on sale, there's a couple more I want to get because I love them so much. I'm going to get the lip scrub, I think, next time. I don't think they were on sale, but. No, I'd also like the lip scrub. So should we get to the second part of our show? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So, in honor of Jeffree Star, we are going to be doing a Jeffree Star giveaway. Yeah. Now, before we tell you what we're going to give away, what you have to do is you have to like, subscribe, and share to yes. our YouTube. You have you to have be you have to be subscribing to our YouTube page. You have to like this video and you comment have, and comment on the video that you shared it with your friends and on what platform you shared it, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Yep. Cause we'll be checking. We will be checking. So let's clear that just to clarify, you have to like and subscribe to our channel. 
you have to comment in the comments on our YouTube that you have shared it and and tell us what platforms you shared it so we can go look. Also a bonus, tag your friends. Yep. And we are randomly going to choose two winners. And why we're going to choose two winners is because we're going to give away two packages. Yeah. So should we show them? Yep. We're going to be giving away the conspiracy palettes and the lip gloss. It goes together. The lip gloss and the palette go together. I'm not giving away my lip gloss because I used it. And so I don't want to gift it to somebody after I tried it on. So, um, but I might find something else. Um, maybe not Jeffree Star because I've tried most of his stuff on, but I might throw in, you know, an extra little something. So just a disclaimer, um, we have not opened these palettes. We have not swatched them. We haven't anything. No. I have not opened my lip gloss. I haven't anything. The only thing I opened was this package to show you guys the color. So brand new, untouched. The only thing, I take that back. The only thing I did do was open this to make sure that it wasn't chipped and none of the pans were broken. Yeah, I was just going to say, I opened it to make sure everything was intact, that it wasn't broken, wasn't chipped, wasn't damaged, just in case if I needed to contact the company. Yep. So that's, so it's brand new, untouched on anything straight from Jeffree Star Cosmetics website in our mystery box. Same thing with a lip gloss. So you'll get a spank from my side. You'll get a spank me lip gloss and the conspiracy palette. It you sounded just, like you said spank me lip gloss. <laughs> this will spank you, baby, right in the lips. <laughs> spank you because you're naughty. You naughty listeners, you. Yeah. So you'll get, and this is the full conspiracy palette. It's not the mini. So it's the one that I used on my eyes. Um, and that Tiffany used Trisha think, on hers. Yeah. And um, it's the full, you know, usually it's $52 for, for yeah. this. So we are gifting um, two of these away to, um, to our lovely family. You have until um, next Friday. That's when the cutoff date is. We'll be picking um, a winner randomly um we're two going, yeah or two winners rather and we're we're gonna find um yeah we'll be picking um but you have to qualify in order to qualify you have to like this video you have to be um a subscriber and this is just for our youtube yeah people this is not for facebook or instagram so i want to make this clear this is just on our youtube page for now and um, we, we're going to be looking into other giveaways, but um, but um, down the road, maybe we'll expand into our other platforms. But right now, we're just focusing on our YouTube people. And so you have to say that you shared it and where you shared it on. And for extra bonus, you can um, tag friends. Absolutely. So Chantal said she just shared it on her Facebook. Awesome. Share it. But don't yeah. forget to comment in our YouTube comments. Yeah. That's how we're going to know. you got to comment yeah. in our YouTube comments. Yeah. So perfect. So that's awesome, you guys. Share it around. And the more we grow, the more giveaways yeah. we will have. So next month we will be doing another giveaway. Who knows what it'll be. But the more, the more traffic we have, the more giveaways we can do. Yeah. Just share, share, share. Share, share. So like, comment, subscribe, comment in our YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube. Put in the comments in our YouTube where you shared it and tag some friends for extra bonus points. Mm -hmm. Awesome, you guys. Well, I hope you liked our show today. I hope you liked our looks. It's a little different. I love how Melissa and I have different ways to do looks and different personalities. Well, mm -hmm. we kind of share the same brain, but we Ooh, go in different directions. We kind of share share a brain, but uh, we, you know, do things. I know it's like I'm living for this color. By the I'm way, I'm gonna go what pick up this? my prescription, like with my makeup on, like. Well, you should, cause you look fucking banging. Banging. I might go get us dinner like this, cause I have no idea what we're doing for dinner. No Why idea. Why not? Go get some. Because pizza. I, I love this. I would wear. I would honestly wear this to work if I didn't think I would get weird looks. Oh talking. no. I would wear this to work too. I probably wouldn't wear the lipstick just because it's um, a little bit uh, too dark. I would do a lighter color for a day look, but definitely like a night look if I was going out somewhere, which I never do, especially now that COVID is around. I didn't go out before yeah, though. That's but. true. That's true. So I hope everybody gets excited, likes, comment, subscribe, and share 
comment to make sure we know where you're sharing and mm -hmm. tag some friends. And then next Friday, you just might win a Jeffree Star products. So thank you everybody so, so much for watching today. We hope you enjoyed our videos a little lengthy, but we love talking. We love putting makeup on. It's mm -hmm. kind of like a nice little girl time, some self-care. That's super important. And um, we hope you'll tune in again. So important. So important. Just remember you're loved. Remember to have a kinder heart. It's 2021. So let's be very con conscientious of everybody else and just spread love and not hate. Yeah, there's no room for hate. No, not even a little bit. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for everybody who shared this video. Thank you everybody for commenting and, and, and engaging with us. We love you all so much. We hope to see lots more of you next week. And uh, we'll announce the winner on next week's show. So awesome. I'm Tiffany Beth. I'm Melissa Ann. We're best friends. And, and we're, we're midnight beauties. beauties. We love you guys so much. Remember, spread love. Mwah! Not, Not hate. hate. Bye, Bye guys. Take care.